What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Andre King coming at you today. And if you were to poll 100 IT professionals and ask them, what's your least favorite task or activity? I guarantee you the number one answer most likely would be documentation. And coming in a close second, it's probably going to be diagrams or more specifically network diagrams. But today, that's exactly what we're going to do. A logical network diagram depicts how information in the network flows. In a logical diagram, you'll generally visualize the following elements in your network topology. Subnets, IP addresses, network objects, specific routing protocols, and potentially traffic flows or network segments. In our last video, we built the primary VPC components, such as the route tables, subnets, security groups, and the internet gateway, of course. So this is taking it to the next level, and this is also one of the contract deliverables in our contract. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get to work. There are many software options when it comes to using a tool to build your network diagram. Tools such as Lucidchart, Draw.io, and Microsoft Visio are some of the few among many. Today I'll be using Microsoft Visio, which will require a license but it's the network diagramming tool that I'm most familiar with. Your network diagram doesn't need to be complicated and actually it should be pretty simple and straight to the point such that anyone that picks it up and needs to get a high level understanding of the network can actually look at it and obtain that without having to ask any questions or not too many. So that's what we're gonna do. There's not too many right or wrong answers and we're just gonna do a very simple base level network diagram I'm going to be speeding up the video, so let's go ahead and get it.
So this is our basic network logical diagram here. And really, as you can see, we simply use the AWS icons. I'll provide a link down below in the descriptions, but they have their architecture icons and PowerPoint. Unfortunately for Visio, uh, that was deprecated probably three to four years ago. I think it's been since I've seen that where you could import uh, those icons directly into Visio, but this has all of the different services and the resources that are needed to basically um, have a standardized um, icon set amongst the engineers. So simple, simple, as you can see here, we first lifted the basic AWS uh, account as well as the VPC, just those boxes is what we started with. And then we layered on top, up top, the different subnets and really the way we laid it out color coded is just the start as well as the first and last IP address non-usable included for each of the two availability zones. If there was anyone that needed to plan, they wouldn't have to go log into the AWS console or even look at a spreadsheet. The information for all 10 of those subnets is shown directly here on this network diagram. Although we are only deploying a firewall in one availability zone, uh, just in case in the future, it's always best to build um, with that outlook in mind. There is an availability to uh, box there. And then real simple here, just the EC2 instance icon. We didn't pull any Palo Alto image or anything down from the internet. Uh, just the simple standard. Again, everything came from that PowerPoint deck that you saw there. And these are the three IP addresses for the interfaces. Ooh, let me change this one. Good job there. That we'll be using. Um, oh, that 10. Sorry. So let's go ahead and double check since we're there. So uh, management, again, 0 through 15, knowing that the first four IP addresses cannot be used. So we'll use dot 10 inside interface for dot 20. 16, 17, 18, 19 are reserved. So 20 is the first available user and we'll use that, usable I should say. And same for the outside interface. Uh, this is the range there, cannot use the last one. So we will pick 40. And this is just to um, pick the, the IP addresses that we'll use. You can definitely, when you deploy EC2 instances, we'll see in the next video that you can let AWS pick the IP address for you, or you can build these network interfaces ahead of time and just attach them to uh, the EC2 instance. So that's what we have here is really just a high level overview, um, nothing glitzy or glamorous there. And of course, last but not least, the internet gateway, the VPC side of range there. So just the basic elements that if someone needed to come in and take a look and kind of get the thought behind the logical components of uh, the network architecture. Simple, simple ask here, single VPC, single firewall resource with three different interfaces there. We'll come back in the future when we get to actually configuring the Global Protect VPN uh, client there. We're gonna have to add a tunnel interface and we'll probably also for that final report um, do a separate tab down below um, I'll save this one and drop it in Dropbox or Google Links and share it as well in case anyone wants to take this, rename the tab and things like that. But we'll do a detailed logical diagram because by that time we would have opened different ports and protocols that we need for different types of communications to open. And we'll have some arrows and things like that. And we won't put that on this tab. We'll, I'll show you mentally how I think um, to show the subnets in a more horizontal um, type of fashion and then use the arrows to flow uh, between each. So really, again, we've achieved that deliverable or that aspect of it by creating a network diagram logically that shows or depicts the different uh, network components, um, primarily the subnets. We'll also come back and add the route tables, uh, which should be the last thing needed here. Um, you, Some engineers put the security groups and things like that for auditing purposes, but for this, we'll keep it simple again, and we don't really need that. So again, that was really just uh, fast forwarding through kind of how I'd make a very, very basic low level network diagram um, for the ass. 
So I hope you enjoyed this one here and I promise you in the next video, we're going to get to rocking and rolling and actually deploying that firewall. So I hope to see you there. Definitely drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this video. And if there's anything else that you'd like to see, but wishing each and every one of you out there all the best. So until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves. Peace.